In this video, we're going to walk through how to set up a seeding chart in Skyward Cumulative. So first we'll need to log in to our account. And then in the upper left corner, we're going to make sure that we are in teacher access. And then we are in a demo account. So we don't have that many students in our class, but we're going to click on the three bar main menu and then access the attendance menu and then click on the seeding chart option. Then the first step that we need to do is set up our room layout. So in the upper right, we're going to click add room layout. We're going to name this uh, room. So I'm just putting in homeroom. If you want multiple room layouts to uh, toggle between, if you move your desks around, you can change the different names. Then we'll select our room that has been assigned to, to us and choose save and add seats. Now we have our teacher desk option that we can drag and drop and then student desks. If we don't want to drag and drop, we can click add multiple seats. If you have your desk set up in, set up in rows, you can uh, just choose the number of rows and have that set up in the upper right. Here we've set up our desks in groups and then click the save button in the upper left when you are ready to save your drag and drop room layout. And then in the upper left, when we are ready to add our seating chart to our room layout, we want to click the room layout details and then the add seating chart button on the right. This is going to bring up our class details and we can name our seating chart. So if you change your seating chart throughout the year, you can give it like a season or a term uh, name. So we're going to name this for the fall, then click save and assign seats. This is going to bring up that room layout that we just set up and our students are going to be in that gray holding uh, area on the left. We can again drag and drop our students or we can auto assign seats by name or randomly uh, choosing the auto assign seats option. Then click save once we set that up and then our students will be either randomly assigned or assigned alphabetically. So again, you can drag and drop or you can uh, auto assign your students to your room layout. This will save automatically and then we can go back to our uh, seating chart list and see our uh, seating charts that we have in our room layouts. So now we have these in a list. We can add new room layouts and new seating charts on the right. We can also open up these options. Now you can see we have our student assigned. Um, again, we just have the one student in our demo class, but that is how you add a room layout first, then a seating chart to your Skyward Cumulative account.